As the Great Salt Lake continues to shrink, the dust blowing up its lake bed has become a major concern for people living along the Wasatch Front because it's packed with fine particulate matter that can cause lung irritation, cardiovascular disease, gastrointestinal problems, and cancer. Problem is, despite state funding to tackle the issue, we don't have a clear picture of how bad it really is. Kevin Perry, a Great Salt Lake dust expert, says we're kind of in the dark because there's a huge gap in how we monitor dust, especially PM10 particles. While we do have some PM10 monitors, Perry said they're poorly placed to absorb dust from the Great Salt Lake and far from the communities most impacted by its pollution. And speaking of those impacted, a recent study from the University of Utah highlighted yet another issue. The dust disproportionately affects communities of color. Pacific Islanders, Hispanics, and people without a high school diploma are exposed to higher levels of this particulate pollution compared to white people. Now, the state did allocate over $275,000 last year to get more PM10 samplers to monitor the dust, but as of now, no new monitors have been installed. The Division of Air Quality says it's working to make sure it gets the right equipment and uses the funding effectively, but it's been over a year. However, the division says they expect to have these monitors installed by spring 2025 at the latest. 